When I was a young man, I quit my blues band to dedicate my life to photography. And I've been blessed in my career. I've been super, super lucky. Got to shoot all over the world, covering everything from the North Pole and climate change to the AIDS crisis and the homeless crisis, politics and celebrities in Hollywood. And I've been able to bring my visual storytelling into advertising to shoot brand campaigns for global companies. In 1985, I got Steve Jobs to give me access for three years to document his process of innovation with his team for Life magazine. And that led to a 15-year-long photo essay on the digital revolution and the people who built the world we live in today. My whole life has been about documenting the human condition, the core of what we all share, and trying to communicate that to an audience. I've had a lot of help in my career from great photographers, some legends. They reached down and gave me a leg up they educated me, and they kicked my ass when I needed it. But I sometimes think, what makes a great photographer? Well, humility for starters. It seems like you have to cultivate beginner's mind, stay humble, and be ready for anything. What I learned watching the greats is they all took risks. They didn't sit back on their successes. Every four or five years, it seems like you have to challenge yourself. You have to push yourself creatively if you want to grow. And when people ask, what camera do I use? I always answer like my peers, well, it's not the camera, it's the photographer's eye. And that is true. But it's also true, the camera is the tool you use to express your vision. What if the camera was intuitive and natural and easy for you? What if it supported how you shoot? What if you weren't fighting the tool, hunting for nested menus inside nested menus while, wait, 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 oh, you missed that shot. Those of you who've been following me on social media know I've been experimenting with the Leica SL for some time, and that I've been thinking of jumping over. Well, it's official. After 30 years of working with one camera, I'm switching to all Leica all the time, specifically the Leica SL. I've never fetishized cameras. They're not some sacred object for me. They're just tools for making pictures. And if they don't work, I smash them. No. <laughs> They're just tools for making pictures and they better damn work or forget about it. But when I first held and shot this camera, ah, my mind expanded. It's just so natural and intuitive and fast and easy to shoot. It just supports the way my brain works and the way I see. It's got this incredibly natural user interface. It's like designed for humans. I'm actually in love and I just can't explain it all yet. But for the first time in years, I'm totally in love with my camera. <laughs> it's making me more confident, and I'm shooting a lot less, but I'm keeping more frames. I'm happy, my clients are happy. So I'm using it for all my projects, including Fearless Genius. Now, I'm looking for the next Steve Jobs, and we're shooting the next generation of innovators and entrepreneurs all over the world. In fact, the first thing I shot with the Leica SL was this hackathon that I was able to get access to at NYU. Young college kids competing for 48 hours to write the best, most elegant, creative code. I was inspired watching these kids working day and night. They had the dedication, but also the idealism that I witnessed in Silicon Valley in the 80s, what they used to call the noble cause. I'm still exploring this extraordinary camera. I'll come back to you soon with another video highlighting specific features and why I'm so in love. Thanks a lot.